Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for joining me again. So today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough and first impressions of a deck that was sent to me by U.S. Games for my review. Granted, it's a written review, but I do like to do walkthroughs and first impressions on um, decks anyway. So this is by Hannah Kirshen. It's U.S. Games. Um, this is what the box looks like. I love it when this is on both sides. So that depending on how you put it on your, um, sh you know, shelves. Even that this, if you were to put it on your shelf like this and stack them, this is still pretty. So, it says here. We are all part of nature and are therefore connected to the universe. The elements that make up the earth, sun, moon, and stars are also what make up us. Named for the Greek goddess Estrella, the star maiden tarot celebrates these cosmic connections as well as the divine feminine while exploring zodiac and elemental associations. Star maiden tarot reminds you that you have the power to transform your life, May this luminous deck be a guiding light on your spiritual journey. It includes 78 cards with dazzling tea gilt edges and 180 page illustrated guidebook. So like most of the, the decks that are coming out now, the new decks that are coming out um, from U.S. Games, instead of the thumb holes, they have it like this so you can easily grip it. That's what the inside looks like. This is a high quality book. Mm, smells good. So here's um, about the author, Hannah Kirshen. And hmm, I wonder if she is the um, artist as well. It says, Hannah Rose Kirshen is the Milwaukee-based illustrator and designer behind the Star Maiden Tarot. She spends most of her time playing with her dash hand, uh, Ramona, drawing on her iPad, roller skating, painting, and spending time with friends, family. Hannah has been drawn to the mysticism of tarot ever since her grandmother introduced her to the cards with her very first reading in her teen years. Born a Libra and the magical fall days of October, she chose the Star Maiden to be the title as she is the holder of the Scales of Justice. Very cool. We also have... Oh, hang on. Wonderful. Oh, okay. We've got a full moon spread, the release, the lesson, and a new moon spread, the manifestation, the outcome. Okay. We'll get into the book more. I'll do some sample readings. See? And... <laughs> so we have our full. Magician. The High Priestess. Oops. Empress, the Emperor. I love the colors of this deck. The Hierophant. The artwork is so, so different, but so pretty. That was the Lovers. The Chariot. I have the light like blaring in my face, so I'm not sure whether or not you guys are seeing this really well. The colors and everything. Strength. The Hermit. Oh, look at that Wheel of Fortune. Justice. Justice. 
The Hanged Man. Death. Temperance. The Devil. Tower. Star. The Moon. The Sun. Judgment. The World. These are not in the order that I would normally put them in. Ace of Swords. I usually go Wands, Cups, Swords, Pentacles. Two of Swords. Three of Swords. <laughs> Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six of Swords. These are so pretty. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. Now for some reason, even in the book, the Kings are put first and then the Queens. Maybe because they have changed. I wonder if it's in here. Let me see. I mean, it's about the Divine Feminine and the Zodiacs are also celebrated in the Star Maiden deck. Um, let me look at the first... So what it says about the King of Swords, the King of Swords is a powerful and intellectual figure who expresses himself freely and acts from a place of intellect rather than from emotions. He has so much to share with the world and communicates it with conviction. He is able to observe and make judgments and decisions from a place of impartiality and mental clarity, making him a great leader for others. The butterflies surrounding him indicate that he has undergone transformation to get to where he is now. And then let's see what it says for the Queen of Swords, which, as I said, comes after. So the Queen of Swords is a, str is a strong intellect and an ambitious and highly perceptive woman who will tell you exactly how it is. She is able to think and communicate rationally while also remaining empathic when it feels necessary. She communicates clear boundaries and is firm in who she is. The butterfly surrounding her suggests that she is gracefully moving through change. She seeks to find the truth in every situation she encounters and will not let others' reactions and emotions get in the way. Okay, so, it, you know, it doesn't really say that one is like the... More like the water of um, air and yada, yada, yada. But I think probably just because it is really celebrating more the uh, feminine principle or the divine feminine that it's putting the queens in like the top position, which I'm okay with. 
Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Now, in the book, there are reverse ones, too. I just didn't read those. But I will when I'm doing a few readings for you, okay? Six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. King of Wands and Queen of Wands. I like how they're also facing each other. In that position, too. Because if the Queen was f first, well, they're either away from each other or facing each other. Either way, it's pretty cool. Now we've got our Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. I am really digging this artwork. Ten of Cups. The color choices are just beautiful. It's definitely, it feels like a very cheery and communicative with all the blue, you know, like throat chakra. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups. King of Cups. Hmm. And the Queen of Cups. Now the last set, suit, Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, huh. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King, and Queen. I cannot wait to try and shuffle this. All right. These are the backs. Can't even tell what that says. Probably the name. Oh, it's in both corners. Oh, it's a copyright 2024 US. 
I can't. U.S. Something. Probably U.S. Games or something. I like that it's like a constellations on the back. Okay, that part shuffles beautifully. None of these stuck together either. With gilding and stuff. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful shuffle. Beautiful linen. Gorgeous. Let's do one more. And then we'll fan these and we'll pick a few more cards. Oh. And flew the other way. Oops. No. Nope. <laughs> All right. They fan. Beautifully. All right. Okay, three of swords. Upright. I'll get the get where I see the light. The heart pierced with three swords represents the truth coming to light, though it may be extremely painful to endure, symbolized by the fall, the falling rain. The Three of Swords forces you to face the reality of a situation, whether it be betrayal, dishonesty, or disloyalty. This card reveals all that must be shown. Everything is now in the open. The pain felt from the Three of Swords is not permanent. This is a time to take care of your heart and heal. And so for the reversed, it says, when reversed, there may be some drama surrounding the way that the truth is revealed. A lot of expressed emotions will accompany this drama. However, there will be a feeling of release that will lead to healing. All right, let's take from this side. Lovers. All right, let's find the major arcana. So the lovers, it says the lovers indicates that it is time to make a decision regarding your relationships. However, while making this decision, you must think of your long-term goals and dreams and what would be best for you to support your honest and most important needs. Do not settle or cut yourself short. Follow your heart. The opportunity or person you must make a decision about will affect your future. Look for the harmony and alignment that happens effortlessly. That's how you know it is for you. The lover's card may also signify or signal an important partnership coming into your life. Reversed. When reversed, the lovers experience dishonesty and betrayal. Relationships fall out of balance. You, may, you also may be starving yourself of your own love. Pour into yourself and be your own lover first before you pour your energy into others. Hmm. All right, these are pretty short um, in the book. Short and sweet to the point. I like the artwork. This is also one of those books that I have been seeing frequently coming out of uh, U.S. Games that is like really high quality paper. This is like premium, almost like a photo, photo quality paper, which doesn't surprise me when you have a book this size and you've got the full color images, right? Well, they're not completely full, full size, but pretty darn close. So let me do just one more. Let's do from clear over on this side. Four of wands. All right, let me find the wands. All right. The four of wands indicates that it is time for celebration. Your efforts and success are being acknowledged and appreciated. All of your hard work and planning is paying off. You may also 
you may have also reached a milestone or a new phase of life, and it is time to take a step back and just enjoy the now. You've planted firm roots, and a new sense of stability, success, and balance is blossoming from your expansion. In reversed, when reversed, the Four of Wands could be revealing that you have felt unseen, unheard, or unappreciated. You've put all of your efforts into something, and it seems as though the fruits of your labor are not yet manifesting, or you are not getting the recognition that you deserve from someone. Do not let outside validation be your only reward. Give yourself the gift of self-love and appreciation for how far you have come, and the outside world will follow suit. If things have seemed unbalanced, and as though that there is not much to celebrate, the upright gifts of this card will come. Try to remain grateful and grounded. So there you go, guys. I think this is such a pretty deck. I love, 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 love how it shuffles the card stock. The backs are really pretty and simple. I think that they've put this on either side, although it's so tiny, I can't hardly read what it is. I have to put my glasses on. But in order to make it reversible, because it's even the same constellation reversed. So I know a lot of times when there's like copyright stuff on cards, it's hard then because you can't do the reversal. Well, with this, you can. So that has been the Star Maiden Tarot. It's brand new at U.S. Games. The creator and illustrator is Hannah Kirshen. And I thank you for spending this time with me, and I am sending you love always.